First, Zoom prepares for quantum world with post-quantum encryption. Rockwell advises disconnecting internet-facing industrial control systems devices amid cyber threats. And a Library of Congress MFA thwarts cyber attack. And with that, let's get started. Zoom has announced it's implementing post quantum encryption, becoming the first unified communications as a service company to offer this advanced security feature for video conferencing. Let's dive into what this means and why it's so important. Now, Zoom's New Post Quantum End to End Encryption, or E2EE, is now available worldwide for Zoom meetings and soon for Zoom phone and Zoom rooms. This means that when users enable E2EE, only the meeting participants have access to the encryption keys, making the data completely secure and indecipherable even to Zoom's own servers. And Michael Adams, Zoom's chief information security officer, emphasized that since they introduced E2EE in 2020 for Zoom meetings and in 2022 for Zoom phone, uh, customer use has shown just how crucial these security features are. So what exactly is post-quantum encryption? In simple terms, it's a proactive approach to protect digital communications from future quantum computers that could potentially break traditional encryption methods. And quantum computers are incredibly powerful and work differently from classical computers by using quantum bits or QU bits, which can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This allows them to perform complex calculations much faster than classical computers, posing a significant risk to current encryption protocols. To defend against this, Zoom uses an algorithm called Kyber 768, part of a new generation of encryption methods designed to be resistant to both classical and quantum computer attacks. This is crucial because while we might still be a few years away from having quantum computers capable of breaking current encryption, the threat is real and growing. Interestingly, industry leaders are already taking steps to prepare for quantum threats. Microsoft, for example, is advising organizations to start preparing now. And Honeywell has integrated quantum hardened encryption keys into smart meters for utilities. While the rise of quantum computing brings significant security challenges, it's not all doom and gloom. Uh, the same computational power that makes quantum computers a threat to encryption also holds immense potential for advancements in AI and other fields. Companies like Microsoft are expanding their presence in quantum computing to fuel their AI ambitions. And Zoom's move to implement post-quantum encryption highlights the importance of preparing for future threats now. It's a bold step in ensuring that our digital communications remain secure in a rapidly evolving technological landscape.